Hey folks, Whip here, and welcome back to the Hardcore Minecraft world, where we're here for episode number five. Oh my gosh, thank y'all so very much for the support on this series so far. Y'all are amazing. I've been absolutely flabbergasted by the response to every single one of these episodes, so thank y'all so very much for this. Last episode, which was less than five days ago, I was like, oh, you know what? We might hit 500,000 subs. We are almost at 505,000 at the time of recording this. Holy cow, thank y'all so very much. But last episode, what we did on top of that about talking all of those cool things is we got all of the animal pens set up over here. I've been breeding up the cows quite a bit so you can see a lot of babies around here because I want to get some enchanting rocking today. We've got the chickens kind of doing their thing. I'm just kind of breeding them with eggs at this point. We've got so many of them popping up and down over here. The pigs are doing great as well. I think we can breed these guys up here too. I'm trying to work on some food sources that are not bread. So we can easily just grab some of these carrots over here, breed up all of the piggies, which somehow one of them managed to die. I really don't know how, but I walked in here a little while ago and saw a raw pork chop sitting right over there. So he just gonna, I don't know. We're just gonna leave them all in there though. Ow, okay. Well, and also that sheep just escaped. That's, that's a big also. How did that happen? I have no idea how he could have gotten out over here, but he's now roaming free. We're gonna just let him go. It's fine. He figured his way out of here. He earned it. It's fine. It's totally okay. <laughs> As mentioned though, today I want to get a bunch of enchanting going and see if we can't actually get a fortune pickaxe so that we can run on down into the mines and harvest up all of those diamonds that we haven't gathered yet in the strip mine. But that being said, I've been down there quite a bit already. I'm actually on a brand new, ooh, I gotta put that stuff back on. That could be a big mistake, but I'm already on a brand new pickaxe, been gathering up a bunch of trees as well. And so we've got a good amount of stuff to be building with today as I want to build an enchanting tower. I love the skyline we have around this place so far. I love has a few different layers but i think one thing we could really do is taking into account that structure right there is we could build a tower somewhere off i'm thinking at the top of this here hill right out over here could be a fantastic location for a tower since it's kind of higher up we can even bring the terraforming landscape up a little bit further and get some awesome work going on in there but as i'm getting a lot of these beginner things going here today last episode was very heavy around the base building action and getting a lot of things set up for there so i figured we gather up all the resources we'll get out of this area a little bit but staying close by because i want to go explore the jungle and see if we can't find a jungle temple hopefully that means we'll be close enough for all of the animals to keep breeding up and doing all their stuff and all the babies can grow so we can come back and breed them one more time for the cows especially but before we can leave the base we've got to get our minecraft chores done down here which every single day this list of chores seems to be growing even further hopefully soon we can start to automate some of this stuff man it's gonna be really good to get into the nether being able to craft some observers with some nether quartz could be super helpful for us over here but i think i'm storing all of the sugar cane yeah look at that that i think is enough to be able to craft all of the bookshelves we need and of course we can't start a flip episode off of the hardcore series here without harvesting up a bunch of wheat so let me get this done now if you haven't already my friends please be sure to click that like button down below and it is time for us to put all the rest of this junk away and get off for the adventure We've got our trusty bread, our golden apple, and a, how did you get out of here? Man, I really did a terrible job making all those animal pens, apparently. Before we jump on in there, though, let's see if we can't gather up a few seeds. I would love to get a parrot, because we could take one of those down to the mines with us, and it'll actually help alert us if creepers get nearby, if we're doing any strip mining or anything like that. Could be pretty useful to have. There we go. Ten seeds should hopefully do it, and if it doesn't, we'll just get some more inside of the jungle. Entering into the edge of the jungle now, and I always forget how dense these things are until I'm actually inside them being like can i move around here at all i think our best plan Ooh, i heard a bird i heard a bird <gasps> bird hi here you are how you doing buddy do you like seeds do you like seeds you don't seem to like seeds nope you don't like any of those seeds well all right these seeds no here i was thinking 10 seeds would be enough stupid bird all right buddy i've got some more for you where are you there you are down there oh look at the cute little yellow guy please take this seed land i'm only gonna do it if you land no, come on. All right, this way. Here we go. One more. This bird will be mine. This bird will be my friend. Dang it. I will force feed you until you love me. Does he love me? Wait, does he love me? <gasps> Are we friends now? We have a friend. Oh my God. Let me know what we should name him in the comments. All right, come on, buddy. Let's go on an adventure. That's the wrong way. We're going this way. Over the edge of the jungle now, and this is the world's smallest jungle. Okay. <laughs> I did not expect to go right up the hill and instantly into a non-jungly forest. Well, I guess we're going to head off down this direction and maybe we can find something in the fog over there. Can we make it to the water from here? I'm not even going to try. This, though, we can do. Whee! 
idea. I want to start exploring the world a little bit more in each direction so we know roughly what is around us right now because all we know is the Mushroom Island and we've done a little bit of exploring in the ocean. Since I'm not playing in an amplified world anymore inside of this series at least, it's really nice to be able to actually explore around the land areas and only having to climb up mountains like these guys and not worry about getting trapped going all the way up something just to see another wall behind you. So what I was trying to get at by saying that is I really want to spend some time exploring inland and just learning the terrain all the way around us. And I was really expecting that to be a goat. I've been looking at Minecraft 1.17 too much and I want the goats. Right now going through the jungle, we are on the lookout for a bamboo forest as well as any jungle temples we might be able to find since we can get a lot of really cool stuff from those. Since we haven't managed to find a slime junk underneath our base quite yet, I think the only source of slime we can really get unless we start going to the swamp is from a jungle temple being the sticky pistons that we can get out of there already since I think that's about all I'm going to be using slime for this early on at least. And there's, oh, is that a dark oak forest? Oh my gosh, wait, 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 that's very important. That is a huge, huge, huge value. Holy cow, I was not expecting to find that over here. This is a very tiny jungle that has not given us anything we actually need from the jungle, but we found so much other good stuff. Yes, it is. Oh my gosh, look at that. I love it. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, that is so absolutely perfect. All we have to do is run through the jungle and we have dark oak forest with a broken iron axe. No. We are going straight back to square one on this one, everybody. I'm going right down to an iron axe to be able to do this. Oh, God. I should really just go break some cobblestone. This is way slower than I thought it would be. My goal is to get like eight saplings so we can take them back home with us and at least guarantee that we can keep them going for a little while because I think sometimes dark oak trees don't always give you the four saplings you need to grow a new one. I can't believe we have a diamond shovel and a diamond pickaxe and we're using a wooden axe right now. <laughs> Oh, that's just sad. It's, it's sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. It'll be okay. We'll get these done here soon. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, well, as we have these guys decaying over here, I was trying to figure out a design to use for the tower that wouldn't just be spruce everywhere. So having some dark oak and potentially some stripped dark oak is gonna be really, really helpful for a build later today. The sun looks like it's setting though and I've just gotta wait for all these leaves to decay because that ax just disappeared and I do not wanna go through another wooden ax. Getting very lucky with the saplings right now. We're up to 14 of them. So ooh, that's three trees that we can grow back at home and I'm just making a diamond ax. I don't care at this point. I want that sapling though, but we're making a diamond ax when we get home. We've earned it. Funny enough, I was curious, so I was looking at the stats. We've currently used an iron axe more than we've used a diamond axe. We went through seven iron axes chopping spruce trees, so I think that warrants making a diamond one. Literally chopping dark oak trees right over there, ran back into the jungle, be like, ooh, this is a cool little part of the jungle edge. It looks really nice over here, and there's a temple. Perfect. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go see what we can't find inside. Do I got some torches? I do. All right, so that means I need to eat some bread and then we can charge them with some torches. And there's another blue bird. Ooh, we can take two birds home with us. I'm hearing some mobs. I'm hearing some mobs. Anybody down here? Nobody around that corner. Anybody in here? I'm gonna... One thing we have to worry about is the tripwire hooks of the arrow shooting out. Birdie, if you get hit, that is your own fault. And it looks like nobody is down here. I don't know where I heard that sound from then. And there we go, both of them are disarmed. We are definitely taking these dispensers with us because they are super important to have. And some golden bones. Okay, well, let's just take the whole chest. At least that's some value. The other thing that we're gonna be grabbing back here is honestly a little bit of this mossy cobblestone. And then right over here, we've gotta get all these pistons. And we got some iron horse armor and some more gold and bones and good rotten fleshy stuff, yay. The bird keeps making creeper hissing sounds and it is terrifying me right now. I think there's a giant cave right next to us or something like that. And it's, uh, it's not fun. It's not fun at all right now. Can you stop making creeper sounds? Stop it. And there we go. We got two stacks now of mossy cobblestone to take home with us. Might honestly be the best treasure we found out of everything in here, but that's fine with me. Let's take two more. Now, where was that little blue bird out here? I don't know if we can really get him with three seeds, but I'm gonna try. Oh, four seeds really coming up in the world now. There he is, there he is. I see him, I see him, I see him. Instant best friends. <gasps> yes, oh, it took one seed. Oh my God, wow. Hi buddy, welcome home. Or welcome to the fellowship, the fellowship of burbs. Oh, there's a zombie right there though. How did you get right there? How did you start right there? I don't understand that. Okay, that means we gotta be careful of some mobs around this area. If there's a zombie here, we've gotta be super careful of what's moving around us. Since we're out here and I can't, I'm killing some jungle cows.
skipping and killing cows all the way back home. We are up to 24 leather now, which is really nice. And we actually got a decent amount of beef off that too, so we can start eating some steak. But first and foremost, welcome home, my Burby boys. So I don't know what to do with you two quite yet, so you guys can just hang out right there. Of course, the very important task now of taking three diamonds, two sticks, and making the diamond axe because we've earned it. Trying to space out the dark oak trees that we're gonna be planting back down here with the saplings so that we can get maximum sapling drop off of them because I know that actually wasn't really too far to go back to, but it would be kind of a pain in the butt to do. Ooh, that, <laughs> I saw that dark thing out of the corner and thought it was a head and I got really freaked out, oh my gosh. I've turned into such a scaredy cat in this series and I kind of hate it. Well, what we're gonna be doing now is I think I gotta get just down into the mines and do a little bit of mining action to gather some more cobblestone and stuff for us. Ooh, Wandering Trader, what you got for us? Actually, we realistically, we've got a good amount of it. I think I'm gonna smelt another stack of this down for some stone slash stone brick for the tower so we can make it a bit more fortified and we'll see what we can build with that. But first, is there anything I want from you besides leads? Sea pickles? Sea pickles? Sea pickles. Sea pickles. Sea pickles. Leads. Boys? We can talk about this. Don't kill my burbs or I will murder you. If I die by llama because I wanted free leads, I don't deserve to play hardcore. I'm sorry, cow, you made it out and I need more leather. I think what I wanna do first is see if I can't get everything built up for the enchanting table so we can start doing a little bit of that and then we'll disguise it with a tower going around the outside. So cows, come on in. Who wants to have some wheat? We have an absolutely massive amount of cows over here. I think this qualifies as a full herd. I gave out at least 30 wheat in there, so now we have at least 45 cows, which is insane. I'ma let all the babies grow up. We'll do one more round of breeding, and then I think it's um Calmageddon. Yep, walk away. Are we chill? Are we chill now? I think we're chill now. Oh, that's nice. You guys are gonna hang in here. Watch out for the berries. They're kind of dangerous. They could prick you, and it would really suck to get a herd in here, wouldn't it? I am now starting to see why our axe usage number was so high for the iron axe there. I just chopped down everything and used literally half of our diamond axe. Actually, a little bit more than half of it. And oh my gosh, we got so much wood out of this place and we even got another apple. I'm just kind of waiting for the saplings to drop now. Going to replant those all down. And then it's Calmageddon time. This is a very happy chest back here full of so much different types of wood. Oh, it's perfect. It's so, so nice. Now time for the last meal for a lot of our cowsies over here, and then we're gonna be, I think we need about 25 more leather, something like that, that'll bring us into the 40s. So we'll just take out as many as we need to until we get into the 20s of leather. Well, here goes nothing. There we go, we're up to 26 now, and I think that'll do it for us for now. And then we gotta go make a bunch of bookshelves with all the logs we chopped down, all the sugarcane we've been gathering. Everything is coming together now. But first and foremost, we need enchanting table. Bringing us up to 50 books right there. Enchanting table acquired. Oh, that feels very, very good. And then we can come on over here, take a stack of the spruce logs, turn them all down to these guys. And how many bookshelves are we getting? 16 out of there too. That is more than we need. And now because I'm a very impatient person, I want to get it down right now and see what enchant we can find. I was thinking it'd be kind of cool to lift it up a few. So if we bring the terrain up like two, three blocks, and I'm thinking inside of it, we're going to have a little staircase that'll lead you up and then enter the tower from there so it's not just plain and flat so the enchanting area in the first floor of the tower would actually be something up on this layer where we enchant a table right there in the middle Ooh, that's looking fantastic and then we use some spruce wood going all the way around here i know it's gonna be kind of a pain in the butt to get back to this guy here soon but something like this should do it for us and that is a level 30 efficiency for enchantment Ah, just efficiency four. I was hoping to go all the way. I should have checked the other ones first, but for now, we don't really have a way down, so we're falling. Since we're currently at level 30 still, so we can get another enchantment, I'm actually gonna re-roll this guy, because efficiency four on its lonesome, to be honest, is not my favorite thing. It just means you break things faster, but you also still lose durability super fast on the pickaxe, so it wouldn't last very long. So if we get only one enchant, I would like, a, I would love to be able to get unbreaking three if we only have one of them, but there's another efficiency four. Fortune one, not my favorite. What do we got? And it really wants to give me efficiency four. Okay, I guess we're keeping that for now. 
Finishing up the base hill over here, we can finally start working on this structure, which I'm super excited about. You can see I've got a little bit of work done on it so far, and I think it's coming along well. I started at a little bit of stuff around here, and I wanted to reintroduce some of the cobblestone as we're going up. Since we're using the stone brick on the side over here with these little walls, I think it looks, it looks absolutely magical. So I was picturing that we could start bringing up a little bit more of the stone brick action as we're going throughout, and I want to bring these walls up a bit more here as well, which I think I do have a little bit more stone we could turn into stone brick adding some more of the walls onto the sides as well i think if we bring the walls up to about here that should be good maybe we'll need to go one more layer smelting down all the stone has been kind of a pain in the butt for this one but we should be and i'm way short on that side never mind we need a lot more let's just craft all of the walls now for this one i was looking over on instagram just a little bit to see if i could find any ideas and scrolling through pinterest and doing the works and i actually came across one of mythical sausages builds one of my good buddies and i absolutely love the dang thing so we're doing our own retrofitted version of that and I think he's gonna be okay with it because we're taking a little bit of inspiration off of it an enchanting tower he did sorry if my mouse is so weird down here somehow I really don't know how I did it but I managed to break the scroll wheel a little bit on my mouse so placing blocks right now and trying to get them off of the hotbar an absolute pain in the rear end but all we got to do is bring the stone up to about this height and I think it's gonna be really cool and I'm thinking we might be able to squeeze some windows just some tiny little windows right in here Ooh, unfortunately breaking that guy, losing a stone in the process, and then losing a stone over here too. Bummer, but that'll be okay. We've got three little windows down here, and I think I can use this lip to get all the way up. Oh, you can, that's good. Gonna have to get a bunch more walls in down here to bring it up as well, because I wanted to make it feel like it's a little bit thicker than being a circle, almost more on the boxy side, because I think it'll look so cool in the end. And that guy's gone forever. Goodbye. Went for the walls because it was the last two that we needed, but something more like this could be pretty cool to work with. And then down here at the base as well, I was thinking we could bring some of the solid stone bricks out. We'll start working on this little section to detail it out more when we get further along in the build. For now, I want to keep going upwards because the tower at this point in time is a rather bit small. So we got to keep going up. Now, in order to add some extra life to this one, I was thinking we could do some slabs extending out here on all four different sides. So I brought in some stone ones here too. So we could mix that up and just add them in with the stone bricks make it look like it was a little weathered and dried out or whatever here just you know being affected by the ocean around us and it'll be totally fine just kidding i took a look at this from down below and it was feeling a bit off so i think what we're going to do instead is use some stairs up here and then use the slabs in a little bit of a different way so i'll go down and get those here shortly but i'm thinking stairs right around the, these different points to help it not feel so bulky and flat i think the stairs will do a much better job than those little slim slabs that we had there next up on top of all of the stairs I think we can just bring in a few full blocks for ourselves and then now where we can start to incorporate some of these slabs is actually going to be on the corners here where we had done the walls to help bring in a little bit of a boxier shape then we can do the full blocks on top of those and that really is going to help us around this area out and we're going to need a few more walls because we do something like that do a wall in between those guys wall and then we start going up with another layer here with actually using some wood this time bringing up towards that next layer now we get a little bit more detail in here as we can start to incorporate a few of the slabs I'm going to need a one more right over here so unfortunately going to have one excess then we get to this really cool position right up in here where i was thinking we could actually bring in a few trap doors going all the way around i think i have enough to be able to get this floor in here just about perfect okay so then we need a few dummy blocks in here because i want to start introducing a new texture and a new color into the build i think we can experiment with this one quite a lot being the stripped acacia log and adding in some of this lovely orange color going throughout here. I think that going up a good ways and then we add a tower section onto the top could be absolutely awesome. Now we need to start being very careful as we're moving upwards since well right now we uh we don't have feather falling and our only source of life is uh gonna be landing on top of that bed right there and I don't really want to fall that far. So what I was thinking is we bring this up two blocks and then we go one two three and then we somehow get another little bit of a window right in here and we could bring this stuff going all the way across. And then I'm thinking we bring it up another two blocks on top of that. Then we can bring in some of these glass panes that I had and just throw them right in there. And we can do that on all four different sides. Ended up coming down here to take a look at the tower and I liked it where it was, but it, the windows in the middle felt a little short. So I actually raised them to be five tall, added some sprucey trapdoors to the outside. And now I wanted to come back in with a few spruce fences and start widening this out so we can get onto an upper layer. I think I want to tweak the stone layer as well, at least on these corners. It's not my favorite thing in the whole wide world. So I think what we can do in there at least is of course, 
add in a few more stone brick walls because why not add more stone brick walls? Let's do it. Coming up here real fast. I think if we were literally able to just come out here and extend these guys, that would work out a lot better from where it is right now. It was just feeling a little sharp on these corners. So I think rounding them out by adding in this extra wall sticking out here could be a lot better for ourselves. But we got the mob proof action right in there, which I think is looking awesome. Then getting up all the way to the top, we can do the next little bit. I added a ladder going in up throughout here too. I don't think it's gonna mess with the enchanting table levels for now. I'll fix that up later if we need to. But first and foremost, I was thinking we could come in here and do just like a double thick stair. Actually, maybe, let's Let's go with three. Let's go with three fences sticking up on each corner. I cannot say the correct word today, apparently. Then from there, we need to start widening out our platform so we have some more room to work with and give ourselves the top section of the tower. A way to add a lot of interest into the towers is actually having varying width to them. So if we kept the same width that we had on this little pillar here, it would look a little off. So by widening it out up here with at least these guys for us, and then I think I'm gonna need a lot more spruce because now that I'm looking at it, we could use some of the oak trap doors right in here. And then for the circle itself, we could actually bring in, ooh, that was not meant to go there. Some strip spruce logs could look quite good right out here as just a little bit of a border for ourselves and then we'll go with some planks going up the rest of the way. Up here we can do some smaller windows right like that coming around all the way here. I don't think I normally I'll do like corner windows but I don't think we're gonna match those ones in here today. So just bringing up my top smaller section we're realistically not gonna walk up here too much. We might get some potion brewing set up in the top of the tower could be quite cool. But for now, let's just focus on getting this thing built out. At this point, I think it's gonna be very important to have a water bucket ready to go. And now I definitely need some more spruce stuff so we can actually get a roof on here. I think we might go with just to mix it up. Uh, thinking, thinking, and now I'm gonna take this all down because what we could do instead is do some oak in here and then we could do spruce for the roof and that would help bring it back into the style we have over there we have a lot of different stuff so far so to make it land with the style we already have we really need to add some similar elements which could be the spruce for the walls sorry <laughs> which could be the oak for the walls and then spruce for the roof now finally up at the roof section we've got a few different things we can do up here and i had one or two that i wanted to try before we actually stuck to anything getting some fences in the corner here so it helps to break up that oak circle that we've created and it's not just a harsh line of where we end this guy and then where we start the roof i wanted to try having some slabs going around this place i'm worried that it's going to feel a little flat but i was thinking if we could somehow make it appear like we have a pretty large circle going around this entire section and then that would be like about to here and then these guys are probably going to be coming in around like this section and then reaching up to there as well the corner will end something more like this which i'm okay with i think that could work out pretty well but i almost want to round i want to feel like this is rounded i don't want to go with a super tall tower to it because we don't have any very pointy roofs i guess we do have that one over there so maybe instead of this we do go with something a bit taller where right at this section we can start to flare this upwards so bringing him some stairs right here to help add it a lot extra height to it. We can do something more along these lines because then we could do a stair right in here, stair right in there, do a slab right on that guy. And then I would need to carry this around to help figure out the rest of where this whole thing is gonna be going. But I'm thinking it's gonna be something along this line right here. I'm liking this so far, first looks at it. I'm liking it a lot. Really worried about how I'm gonna be getting down, but I am liking this. And finally bring it all the way up to a top point way up here. We can add some fences on top and that pretty much is in line exactly with that thing over there. And if we take ourselves all the way down here, it's very weird and wonky. Kind of got to figure it out. Ooh, we almost fell off there and died. All right, well, we got to figure it out going out throughout this section. Now I've just got to echo it all the way across. Okay, crouching, lots of crouching and lots of trying to find a bed real fast to sleep. The scary part is now finished up, thankfully. who we've got all that stuff done. So that's feeling much better. And now I've just, oop, nope, forgot this side over here. Let's grab some stairs right there and right in there. Now we've just got to figure out where we go upwards from here. So we're at that point, and then it's like an extra block right there with a stair on top of it. I think I'm going to work these up layer by layer just to help my brain get around it. As I start to do a lot more of these complex shapes, it is always nice to just be like, oh, am I doing the right thing? Yes, yes, we are. That is, that's good. Let's make sure that this looks the exact same from all different sides over here the less times I have to go up and back down I think it is the better for where we're building a tower right now why do I always do this without feather falling I really don't know I get so nervous up in these points 
This should be doing it right here though. We've got a few more stairs to place in and then just like one or two more blocks right in there, right in there. And we get the last two stairs in and then the whole roof is done. Oh, that's looking really good from this point all the way up here. Ooh, I like that. I like that. We've got to get down and check it out a little bit more. But while we are up here, I had an idea to make something a little bit more fun and add some extra life to this, guys. What if right in these points, we added some small windows? That'll help break up a lot of the spruce face that we have in this point because it's, uh, it's a little dense right now, we could say. And then we can also throw a glowstone there in the center. And this can almost serve as a lighthouse for the region, too, which I think would be really fun. Since I've got some oak trap doors, we can break up the smoothness of the slopes up here too by adding the trap doors right above it, and it'll help give it a little bit of a jut out. And that should just about do it for these guys. I was thinking some ladders going around too, which we could maybe do if we did like ladders right there all the way around the circle. That could be kind of fun. So how many more would we need? Six more ladders? I've been trying to go a lot heavier on the detailing stages inside the builds, especially on the exteriors of just doing these little tiny things that add a lot to it without really changing too much of the shape or anything like that. And it's been a lot of fun. It's little stuff that you really got to dig in deep and be like, what block can I use in this area? But once you find something like that, it's a really cool fix. So now if we jump all the way back down, just woohoo. Nope, nope, not like that. I'm not that crazy safely down the ladder we go we've got this area lit up up here i can get rid of these ladders too because those are just some bonus guys we're gonna head all the way back on down i did check this thing it is ready to go at level 30 and chance still we got another efficiency forward in in there but how does the tower look from the ground i have not turned around yet so first glimpse here we go that actually turned out pretty good i like that a lot I think we've got to work on the lower area a little bit more. The stone section needs some love of just smoothing out. Right now, it's a bit bulky and then just goes straight out to the side, which I'm not a huge fan of. But the top section has a good smoothness to it. Maybe we can pillar around with some dirt and throw some trap doors and things outside of those. But I think overall right now, it's pretty good. Let me get some extra detail work done on here, folks, and I'll be back with y'all. Just finished detailing out the tower and decided to throw some shaders on because, you know, I haven't looked at this base at all with shaders yet. And I thought for sure it was time to do this because I've changed up quite a lot of the build. As you can see, we've got a bunch of oak trap doors down there now. And I moved the spruce trap doors to the upper level because I just thought it looked a little bit better. And then on the corners over here, I actually brought up some granite walls with some spruce walls to, to help make that feel a little bit boxier to go in line with the base. But check this tower out. It looks so fantastic. I love it being up on top of this hill here. I think it perfectly fits with the environment, with the build we've got. And I love that little bit of the red tinge that we have with the acacia in there. I did a little bit of work on the inside too as well, mostly just getting some structural elements built up and ready to go. You can see we got a nice little awning here at the front to help break away from the stone. Got these guys set up with the ladder. Then I decided up here because it felt very hollow. The build was feeling very empty, not having an interior space on it, since we have the four windows in here, very much being the style for the tower structure itself. I brought in this beam here in the center because otherwise you looked through one window and you instantly saw it the other side and it just looked a little empty. Let me know in the comments below what you think we should be throwing up into this section because I haven't really done too much up here quite yet, but I'm thinking potion brewing could be a good spot to have that. A little far from the nether wart, but it's something pretty cool. Our base is looking absolutely fantastic now with the shaders on. I can't wait to get some more of these fields down here and all that cool stuff. But my friends, that is all I got time for in today's episode. Thank you all so very much for watching. Please be sure to click that like button down below if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you are brand new, my friends, and I will catch you on the flip side.